Joan was always the kind of teacher that went the extra mile. Her largest contribution has to be the way that the union and the teachers are perceived by the administration or building. I worked with her um, for 11 years until she retired, and she had given 45 years to the Hewlett Woodmere School District. We had three contract negotiations during her presidency, um, and they were not nearly as antagonistic as they often are in other districts, and that's a tribute to Joan. We went away to a hotel, and we brought snacks, goldfish crackers, pretzels, Coke, chocolate, whatever could get us through the morning. We negotiated that contract in three days. And I think Joan would say it's probably the best contract um, that was ever negotiated for the teachers. You know, she'd know the contract by heart and she would be able to say to you, you know, look at Article 5, look on page 16, and really upholding the contract. We were kindred spirits. And uh, when that happens, when an administration can work together with the union, everybody benefits. We would come to meetings and she would pull out of her pocket these little crumpled yellow pieces of paper that she would write on from a regular notepad and jam in her pocket, but she knew exactly what to do. She knew it was on every piece of paper. She was more organized with those pieces of paper than most people are with their little electronic gadgets. We used to call her dumb like a fox. She would make you think she didn't really understand and that was just her way of getting you to keep talking so she got more information out of you than anybody else could. The biggest thing that Joan was able to accomplish, she got for her members what her members deserved. Uh, she gave them her dedication, she gave them an unbelievable amount of energy, but at the same time, she didn't do it in an antagonistic way. She taught all of us how to do this kind of job. The one thing that, I, that Joan always managed to accomplish was the message that we're not the enemy, that we're in this together. And I can't think of a finer woman as an example of how women can really make an impact in sometimes what looks like a man's world.